How y'all doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety, strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, bicycles, buses, trucks, trains, little trucks, big trucks, and really nice 2022 3500 HD Chevrolet Silverado cabin chassis dually platform like you're seeing right here on the back of this that's a napite 11 foot service body in case you were wondering what you're looking at in the grill right there that's our lin 6 led and that's on a 90 degree bracket hung underneath the belt line of the grill there very easy install we ran the wiring behind the grill and up around the active shutters above that we have our akari drill free mount underneath a Wayland mini light bar. That's a 16 inch version right there. We use the permanent mount. We have a very good video all about how those Akari mounts assemble. I'm gonna link to it right now in the upper right corner. We also have another really good video about how to mount one of those Wayland light bars on top of that Akari mount. We're gonna to link to that video right in the upper right corner right now. Now on the side of the box there, you might see some LED right there on the front corner of that box. That was a factory hole in this service body, normally occupied by a clearance light, a regular parking light, or a Napide sticker. Unless you order the extra parking light, Napide puts a sticker right over there. This customer peeled off the sticker and found the hole and asked if we had a nice, small, low profile light that would fit with wiring through the hole without needing to drill or modify the hole. Now this is a painted service body. The less holes, the better. So every hole you make, you have to treat it as if it's going to rust because it's going to rust. So we didn't even have to touch any drill or any hole. That's a, st that's a stick mount, the uh, quick mount, they call it, VHB tape on the back of that three inch Amber M power. And we fed the wiring right through that factory nap eyed hole, which was all painted up and beautiful. So we'll have no rust issues there at all. That's exactly what the customer asked for. And that's what we figured out. A little cleaner shot of the front and where we place those lights. Now, if you wanted to place them a little closer to the middle of the grill, you could. If you wanted to put a third light right in the center, you could do that too. It's totally your choice. And by the way, we have those Lin 6 lights in almost every single color combination. So if amber isn't your thing, you can certainly find a color that you do like. Don't forget the 90 degree bracket. Alrighty, around the back of this truck, we took advantage of these nap eyed lights and activated the internal flasher. If you have these big square tail lights on your vehicle and it's relatively new, they probably have an internal amber LED strobe like this. So all you need to do is activate it via the pink wire down in the nap eyed harness. Very easy to do. If you need help with that, you can always send us an email. Info at wickedwarnings.com. Above it, you can see that bracket, the Akari drill free mount housing that Wayland light bar. We also hung a pair of Baja S1 LED lights on the underside of that mount up there. And as you can see right there, they're going to throw you right out of focus due to the brightness. Their main purpose is to light up that 11 foot interior bed area between the two sides of this work body, as well as up and over the sides slightly. That way, when we're loading the bed, we're looking for tools or anything that's in the middle of the, the truck back here. We've got plenty of light to do it. Uh, one of the other cool things we did here was we took advantage of these toolboxes, added some of our strip lighting. We've got two links of this light, and uh, we used a couple of each down this uh, toolbox, just applied them to the top there with some VHB tape, and lit these toolboxes on the inside. It's a little bit bright out today, so it's hard to get the dark shot here in the shop because of the skylights. Alrighty, to show you a little closer what I'm talking about with these Baja lights, you can see here we used the factory included bolt, and we came down through the outer area of this mount and uh, it goes actually come right down through the bottom there just like that you can see the bolt is on the bottom and we use the bracket like that now we spun the baja designs faceplate around so it was facing the right way because if you turn them upside down like this usually the baja name will be upside down so you can spin that faceplate so it looks the right way just make sure to uh, watch your torque and do it evenly on these and um, match the torque you took it off as it's really not that big a deal you can see we get a little bit of adjustment up and down here uh, via the screws right here and it's bolted in the top. I like this mount, worked out really well. We ran the wiring right up and underneath the foam in the Akari mount. And uh, when you take the mount apart, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. It's really not that hard to do it. There you can see the wire, how it comes out of the back of the light and it runs up underneath that padded foam that seals up right there really nicely. Here's your side profile of how those lights are. Pardon the shaky camera, just holding it in my hand right now for you. Turned out real nice. I like them. They look real good underneath there. They don't interfere with the light bar at all. Alrighty, we also installed these factory auxiliary switches. They usually come in a kit with the vehicle when the vehicle's new. And now you can see we're using aux switch one and aux switch two to run our flashing and our right flood lights right there, respectively. We may or may not add a label to this one, undecided at the moment because it's only two features and they're fairly easy to tell. 
Yeah, a little closer look at that grill right there. You can see we splay out that angle a little bit of the bracket, bending it back down. And that puts this light at a more appropriate angle uh, just by bending it back a little bit before you mount it very easily. Two easy screws straight up, and we use the included mounting screws with the light to mount the light to the bracket. You can see the wire. We take the wire over to the right here, and then that gives us our drip line and go down and brought it all the way up behind the active shutters up there. That's how these grill lights are done. Okay, so let's talk just a little bit about how it was wired. I'll give you a quick rundown. I don't know if you're going to have the exact same truck, but if you like this package and want to do a lot of the same things, we're going to bundle everything together. It's a parts bundle. That way you can buy everything that we needed to do this vehicle, and uh, you could do your own vehicle the same way. So what we got in the front is two of our Lin 6. Those are amber, amber light. We have two 90-degree brackets, and we have 25 feet of 22-5 to extend those two grill lights into the cabin of the truck through the factory boot on the grommet uh, on the firewall, or if you want to drill a hole, you can drill a hole if you prefer. That we brought those then to the auxiliary switches that are on the lower left of the dash. That's where we're going to tie in our power for that. So above that, we have our 16-inch Whalen LED bar and our Kari mount. We're going to do 25 feet of 18-3. That's going to extend that 16 inch bar, power ground and pattern, all the way down to the switches that are on the lower left of the dashboard. Working our way backwards, we also have the Baja S1 pair. That's a, a light set that you get, and we're going to put another 25 feet of 16 2, and that's going to extend those Baja lights. Yep to the switches on the lower left of the dash. That way you can switch the Baja light independent from the uh, Wayland light bar above it. A nice feature. On the sides there, we have two M-Power, three inch. Those are in amber, one on each side. And we also have 50 feet of 22-5 to allow you to extend those M-Powers to the rear of the truck where you're going to meet up with your rear power line that is going to not only power the M-Power, but on this vehicle is also powering those nap eyed lights. So from the rear of the truck forward, we ran a 25-foot 16-2 from the bumper area by the nap eyed harness all the way up to the switches. And from those M power lights back, we ran that and joined it up with the nap eyed harness under the rear bumper. Now we added some of our strip lighting to the inside of these toolboxes and we chose to run that off of the parking circuit that's already in the toolbox itself. You can see there's random parking lights. Uh, the nap eyed has a feed and there's also an extra feed in these nap eyed boxes for your parking lights. And uh, we added into that circuit that way, when the parking lights are on, the toolbox lights are on. This guy, this particular client, uh, does very little night work. Uh, he said the toolbox lights are more of an option, so um, we felt that would be fine. So I didn't use any special bracketry or anything uh, uh, on those Baja lights. As I said, everything that they came with was just fine for what we were doing, so there's nothing that needed for that. We're going to put in some uh, eighth, three-sixteenths, and quarter-inch heat shrink just to make your install a little bit easier for all of your connections. Uh, I didn't use any fuse kits on this one particularly because the fuses are underneath the dashboard, easy to get to, um, and these uh, GMs, so there's no need for an additional fuse kit like we do on the Super Duties on the GMs. I think I covered everything. If I missed something, make a note. I'll try to make an edit to the video or uh, post the information in the comments below. So if you have a question, we'll try to reply back and get you the info that you need. And if you like the build, go ahead and purchase that bundle. But as I said, this is just a bundle of parts. So if your truck is not exactly the same, feel free to modify it. If you want to add a few, you want to add more lights on the side, you go right ahead. You can always tweak these packages to your own desire. We are simply showing you one example of one customer's job so feel free to make it uniquely your own. Thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, and nice Chevrolet Silverado 3500 heavy duty cabin chassis dually, pretty red instead of the normal boring white service body trucks. Thanks again for tuning in. See you on the next vid.